And so lots of our resources have been cut. Lots of our um, partnerships have been cut because those jobs don't even exist anymore. Right. Now you and I have been talking for about six months yeah. about developing a partnership with Chena Lakes just to help some meet some of those needs. Share. Share with our group what that means to you, to have this partnership. Oh, it means so much to me. I was so happy when you came to me or <laughs> called me, and we finally started sitting down and talking about how we can um, form a partnership. Because, again, other churches um, have come to me in different years, but those, it comes and goes, and I was really struggling and looking for a partnership. So when Tina Blake's approached, I was so happy. Um, it means that maybe we can get some resources for some of our low-income families, maybe helping with some of their milk or lunch breaks. Yeah. Um, yeah. We've been talking about having a speaker, which is um, happening here in the winter. Right. We love to have church support. Great. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the folks at Channel Lakes? I just would like to say thank you so very much. I look forward to many years yeah. of working together. So um, thank you so much for coming to me and getting this ball rolling. Cool. God bless you, too. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> I'm on your side. Oh, when times get rough. Good question. How has Chain of Lakes impacted my life and thus impacted the world? When I came to Chain of Lakes about a half year ago, I was pretty burned out on churches and the warm, welcoming uh, family atmosphere of the church has helped me plug back in and really start to examine why I am a Christian. And through that, I think it's helped me start living out my faith more, which in turn, hopefully, helps change the world. going to Target, going to Second Harvest Warehouses, and picking up food uh, which we can distribute it. Uh, we're having our own vehicle now that's specifically for picking up food and using it for food. Uh, will be allowed us to be able to pick up more than what we have been able to pick up. Would you have been able to purchase this van without the walk? Uh, no. no. We, we, we've been trying to put away a little bit of money, a little bit, you know, we, uh, to squirrel away some money, but um, the costs and operations and our we keep a very tight bottom line so we didn't sure. it had been a while so the man market walk kind of put you over the top the man market walk basically almost paid for the van in full right uh, and uh, we are very grateful for that right so is there anything you'd like to say to the people at channel lakes um i appreciate uh, their i know some have come by and they volunteer time and we appreciate that uh, we appreciate the effort of, of volunteering of doing the walk of coming to the walk of supporting the walk and uh, we are indebted to all those who uh, who gave and uh, seek a lot of different things when they're choosing a place to worship and all the different churches provide a lot of different things but first and foremost our church needs to be based upon God's love and that's what I find here it's not about the big building it's not for entertainment it's not about big video screens and million dollar sound systems the scriptures tell us, faith, hope, love, abide these three, and the greatest of all is love. And that's it. That's what it's all about. I've always been a very uh, independent person, and the 
few years ago, it became apparent that I was going to have a major life change. That is, I was going to retire. And Chain of Lakes has allowed me very much to feel connected. Connected to a new group of people, connected to a different set of actions, a different set of thinking. And in that way, Chain of Lakes has really impacted my life and has allowed me to come into the second phase of my life in a much more gracious and loving way than I could have imagined. Oh, hi. I'm Kevin Hamilton. My wife Nancy and I live in Centerville. Uh, we both believe in strong community involvement. I've been a volunteer of the Centerville Park and Rec Committee for the last six years. Um, and no, this isn't my Halloween costume. Um, Nancy and I went through the uh, Community Emergency Response Team training, better known as CERT. Um, and what we do is help our neighbors, the police department and fire department, should there be a lost child, a fire, a tornado, plane crash. Um, and we also help throughout other community events throughout the year. Um, Nancy and I joined Chain of Lakes Church because it was part of our community. It's only two and a half miles from our house. Uh, there's a lot of dedicated, talented people there, and we're impressed at all the things that have happened so far, from sending care packages to earthquake victims in Haiti to just recently uh, Tiffany's promoting the shoebox um, care packages to pen pals throughout the world. Um, one of the other things that we're impressed with is the dedication to serving um, meals each week, uh, keep food shelves full. Um, we provide the free um, summer Bible school for kids throughout the community. Um, there's a lot of different things to do. So if you've got a talent and uh, you want to grow spiritually um, and stronger in self-value, volunteer and impact the world. Thank you. Can this really be true? After all this pain, can we now celebrate? <laughs>